Using the Data Visualizer tool in App Lab, we can also make scatter plots. Scatter plots are useful for answering questions about relationships between variables or attributes in your data set. First, we'll want to choose Scatter Plot from the drop down. And let's start with some variables that we've looked at before. And the x values will look at the total percent of female test takers. Now, if I wanted to know about the relationship between the percentage of female CS test takers in a state and the percentage of schools in that state that offer an AP program, I could make this scatter plot. Now, this scatter plot shows along the x axis the total percent of female test takers, and on the y axis the percentage of schools in a state that offer an AP program. Each dot represents a particular state. So for example, we can see that this state right here had 38% of the schools in that state offer an AP program, and 29% of the test takers in that state identified as female. By looking at this entire graph, we can see what, if any, relationship exists between these two variables. We can also use the filter tool at the bottom to narrow down our investigation. Let's say we are interested in looking at only states where a large amount of tests were taken. Let's say 2,000. We can choose the appropriate value here, total APCS exams. We can choose greater than or equal to, and then we'll find the first value that's larger than 2,000 here, 2,215. Now this graph still shows the same variables, it's just that we're looking at only the states where there were 2,000 or more CS tests taken. The last type of visual we can make is a crosstab. Crosstabs are useful for looking at data sets that involve some values that are strings instead of numbers. So for this type of visualization, let's look at another data set. This data set comes from the publication The Root and contains information about the 100 most influential African Americans. After we import it, we can look at it here. Let's say we wanted to get a sense of the most common type of people included in this list, maybe with respect to the sector that they're in and their age. We can choose those two variables here for our x and y values. And now you'll see this table that shows up. Each of these values here in different shades of blue show the frequency at which these different combinations showed up. So for example, we can see here that in this entire data set, four of the people on this list are age 39 and work in the community sector. And we can see that that's the most combination out of all the possible combinations in this data set. There are any number of possible questions you could investigate using these visualizations. From understanding the variability in your data set to starting to uncover patterns and relationships in the data, these visualizations will help you gain insight into topics that are of interest to you and are important to you.